I'm gonna summarize every team here in under a minute. Let's go. Paul Reed's an all-star. The Bucks are the same. Prime Lonzo's here. Mobley and Garland are superstars. Blake's jumping over Kias. Gang sign John Wall. They're the same. Okungu is a fringe superstar. Whiteside returns. Lamelo's a superstar. Your best player is Mike Conley. Boogie back on the Kings. Rose and Mello's farewell tour. 2017 Westbrook. The White's not in China. Josh Green's an all-star. Ben might make a jumper. DJ's back. Halliburton's a superstar. Herb Jones is better than Ingram. The Pistons are nasty. Holoko's better than Van Vliet. They got Clippers, Eric Gordon. Victor's just in the league now. They got Hornets, Chris Paul. Chet is Walmart Victor and became a superstar. Shaden Sharp better than Prime Aldridge. The Warriors are just ridiculous and the Wizards barely change. Let's see who wins the championship. Well, at least it's not Luka. This award doesn't matter because everyone's in their prime. Ben Simmons, sixth man of the year. Chet winning defensive player of the year. Bones Highland most improved. Steve Clifford, coach of the year. Got Ja, Luka, LeBron, Giannis, and Victor on first team. LaMelo, Harden, Zion, Scotty, and Chet on second team. And Cade, Garland, Edwards, Ant, and Jokic on third team. And here's the defensive teams if you care. We got our first play in game seventh versus eight seed. And the Thunder are going to the playoffs. Chet with a casual 26, 15, and six. Here's the other Western Conference play in game Kings, Wolves. And the Wolves are going to survive for now. Towns and Edwards both popping off in this game. I don't know how this Sixer team is in the play in tournament, but okay. At least they'll be in the playoffs with Paul Reed dropping a solid 13 and 5. This would be a terrible farewell tour if they lose this. And the Knicks are still alive. How did Julius Randle lead them in scoring and not Rose or Mello? And this game will decide who makes the playoffs. Don't even have to hop in. Wolves going to take it. How does Victor win MVP and doesn't make the playoffs? Rose and Mello can't blow this game. Well, what's new for Mello? Just blowing games. Would have loved to see this team in the playoffs, but I guess they suck. So now here's our official playoff bracket. Victor led everyone in scoring with 32.7. Aiton got the most rebounds with 14.3. Garland got the most assists tied with Conley at 11.8. Chris Paul and Lonzo got the most steals. Chet got the most blocks with 2.6. And Luka got the most turnovers, which is why he didn't win MVP. I don't really know that. I'm just lying. Here's our first playoff matchup. Let's see if Boston gets him out of here in six. Tatum trying to make a move to the basket. Forces a tough shot. Misses it. Rebound Mobley. Isaac Okor going to use the screen here. Going to try to maybe dime this. No, gets a floater. Oh, what a nice pass by Okoro to tie it up. How will Jason Tatum respond here? I don't really know where he's going. Step back three for Tatum. Oh, that would have been nasty. We got Isaiah Thomas trying to guard Darius Garland, playing some good defense. I got to give him credit, Mitchell, from three. Oh, he missed it. Tatum's going to hold for the last shot here. Five seconds left. This is the go to the second round. Tatum from three, and we will have overtime. Maybe not. Let's see what happens with point nine left. They dive it to Mitchell. Mitchell from three. Misses it. We will have overtime. And the Cavs will force a game seven. We got a close one here in game seven. If Boston can score one more time, they might have this. Tatum trying to drive to the basket. Dives to the rob. Gets the... Oh, he made it. Okay, he got it to go. A six-point lead. Garland gonna use the screen here. Gonna drive to the basket on Blake Griffin. That's a tough shot. Misses it. And if Rondo just knocks down one of these, they're going to the set. Oh, he missed the first. Come on, Rondo. Gotta make this second one. And you're go Oh my god, Rondo choked both of them. You can't give this man a dying breath chance. He'll make it happen. Oh, he smoked that shot. Now it's over. Hayden with nearly a triple double to win this game. Now we got the Pacers and Pistons for our second matchup. And the Pistons are gonna get him out of here in a gentleman's sweep. Look at Ivy dropping 26 and 10. He's at 92 overall, so I guess it makes sense. Now we got Prime Westbrook versus Bone Thailand. And this Laker team choked a 3-1 lead. I really wanted to see this team go farther, but I guess not. I can't even hate watch Westbrook. He shot 43% from three in the playoffs. Let's see who should have been the number one overall pick. Got a close one here in game seven. Ja gonna use the screen here. Gonna try to drive to the basket. Step back mini. That was nasty. John Moran showing the world that he should have went number one overall. They're gonna dime it to Zion. Zion gonna try to go up on Steven Adams. Wow, he got that to go with a 59% contested shot. Ja with eight seconds left. You're gonna get double team. He's still not. Oh, he kicks it to Bane from three. Oh, you can't smoke that. They're going to go back to the same well. Zion in the post. He's got the Gatorade symbol. Gets fouled. Counted. And the basket. Zion to take a one-point lead. And he puts it in. It is loud here in FedEx for Marina. Bane with the ball. Pulls the fadeaway three. Puts it in. Memphis up by two. To try and force overtime. CJ McComb with three seconds left. What are you going to do? You got to pull a shot. Oh my god, that's the shot they took. And the Grizzlies with prime Desmond Bain are going to the second round. Got a prime time battle here in B versus Kung Wu. We got Philly trying to stay alive here. Trey driving to the basket here. Dimes it to Griffin for three. Oh, he makes it. Seven seconds left in the game. What is James Harden going to do? Five seconds. Got to put up a shot or something. Dimes it to Maxi. Maxi trying to drive on Triangle. Pulls up the midi. Gets it to go. And there will be a game five. Unless the Hawks have a crazy shot here up their sleeve. Trey going to pull from deep. Why does this keep happening? Did he get the shot off? We're going to watch the clock. He got it off. And Trey Young from the logo is going to take out Paul Reed and the Sixers. 
I usually don't promote other videos, but go watch my Kawhi video. You'll see something very similar to that. That was crazy. I don't even know Lamella was playing shooting guard. Okay. And the Hornets almost blew a 3-0 lead, but they got it done. Getting carried by Prime Gordon Hayward and Kemba Walker. I'd be shocked if this Warriors team lost. I cannot believe this Warrior team lost in seven. This man, Chet, put on a masterclass shop in 41 and 10. And Curry dropped 22 points a game in the playoffs. That is very underwhelming. And here's our final matchup of the first round, Wolves versus Rockets. And the Wolves are going to the second round, taking down Houston in six. And dropping a cool 34, Russell with 21 and 12. He's been playing really bad in real life. All right, well, here's our second round matchup. Ja leading everyone in points per game. Chet getting the most rebounds. Garland getting the most assists. Lamella with the most steals. And Chet with the most blocks. Our first matchup, DeAndre Jordan versus Chet. Well, it looks like DeAndre Jordan's better than Chet. Got him in a gentleman sweep with his whopping eight points and five rebounds. Now we got a primetime matchup of Kung Wu versus Robert Williams. Man, this Hawks team's going crazy. That's a sweep on the Celtics. I thought the Celtics team was pretty stacked, but I guess not. Got a rematch of last year's playoffs. Well, that's going to be a sweep. Literally, if Bane doesn't make that fadeaway three, they are not in the conference finals. This is crazy. And our final matchup of the second round, Lamella versus Killian Hayes, who for some reason is an 84. Well, at least this run has some content in game seven. Lamella with the ball. You're trying to jump. Oh, what a nasty spin by Lamella. One point game. Ivy going to work on the post. You're getting double team kicks at the Stewart. Okay, a pull up midi. That works too. The Hornets don't need a three here. Oh, that's a deep two from Kemba. Probably the worst shot you could have taken. And now all-star caliber player Killian Hayes is going to try to ice this game. And he makes the second one. The Hornets have one last chance here. Got to get up some kind of shot. Okay, I don't think you should be driving to the basket there. That'll do it. Looks like all-star caliber player Killian Hayes is going to the conference finals. Here's our conference finals matchup. Jaws still leading and scoring. The Ren's getting the most rebounds for the last playoff teams left. Jaws getting the most assists. Killian Hayes has the most steal. And Jaron Jackson has the most block. I still don't get why Trey's coming off the bench. And Detroit's going to take down Atlanta in six. This man shot one for eight but had 12 assists. This should be a really good matchup. And Memphis is going to blow out Denver in game seven. Brooks with 28. Bain with 26. Ja with 21 and 14. I can't believe they're here. Like, this is the finals matchup. Out of all the teams, I felt like the Grizzlies benefited the least out of everyone being in their prime. Like, you would think the Lakers would make more noise or even the Knicks with me adding mellow to them. But 2K thinks otherwise. We got prime Desmond Vavers, prime Killian Hayes. We got a close one here. Memphis up 3-2. Jaden Ivey trying to drive to the basket here. Not really a lane for... Oh, goes by... Oh, my God! That was nasty. Ivy gonna use the screen here from Bagley. Ivy with the pull up mid. He gets it to go putting the team on his back. Memphis needs to respond here. John with the ball with eight seconds left. Trying to drive to the basket. Not really a lane there for him. Probably gonna force him a bad shot. Goes up with it. Wow, he got some good angles there. Cade gonna diamond here to Sadiq Bay. Sadiq Bay driving to the basket. Dives into K. Three point lead for Detroit. Let's see if John can respond. Oh, what a block. Ivy to try to force a game seven here. Gonna pull up with the mini. Gets it to go in. There will be a game seven. Ivy played a pretty good game at the end there, but he didn't shoot too well from the field until those last moments. And Memphis has a puncher's chance. They literally have to make every single shot here. Drive. Okay, well, he got it there. Cunningham gonna use the screen here. Driving to the basket. Oh, you can't foul him there. These might be the dagger free throws. First one up and in. Second free throw up and... Oh, he missed it. Okay, not a bad foul. John with the ball. Step back three. Misses it. That might be game. Detroit's just gonna waste time here. That's a smart move. Two seconds left in the post. Stewart with a post hook. Makes it. That's game. And the Pistons get their first championship in two decades. This makes sense. He was huge in that game six toward the end. We they would not be here without him. Ivy coming up big in both game six and game seven. 35 and 10. And he averaged 29, 4, and 9 in the finals. Congrats to the Pistons for winning it all. Out of this team losing the first round. Goodbye.